there are three charges all located very similar to each other. Uh, we want to find the uh, value of x here, the electric potential at that position. And we'll do that in part one of this video. In part two, we'll find the electric field at this position here. So we do need to know the distances. There's uh, seven centimeters located at all of these. So it's an equilateral triangle and 60 degrees, of course, would be our angle everywhere. Uh, this value here at this location is the midpoint between these two charges. So then we know that there's 3.5 centimeters on either side here. And then by you know, just some easy trigonometry, we can calculate the uh, distance here. And this, of course, being a 60 degree angle here. So that can say 7 sine of 60 to get our length between these two here. And that's 6.06 .06 centimeters. Now we want to find the value of the electric potential at this position here. Reminder, the electric potential is not a vector, so we can just add these together. So their volt stem is going to equal 9 times 10 to the 9th, multiplied by 6 times 10 to the minus 6, okay, divided by 0.035. And then this is a negative charge, so it will be minus 9 times 10 to the 9th, multiplied by 4 times 10 to the minus 6, and divided by 0.035. And then that's a positive charge, so plus 9 times 10 to the 9th, multiplied by 8 times 10 to the minus 6, divided by 0 0.0606. .06. And then we just add those together. There's no vector addition either, so we have a positive, a negative, and a positive. So the voltage for this is equal to 1.7 times 10 to the 6 volts. Okay. Now what about the electric potential energy required to bring a proton that's in a point infinity away up to the place where we have an x value right there? So really all we need to find that is the electric potential energy at this position because we know infinity away the electric potential energy would be equal to zero. So I'm just going to go electric potential energy is equal to Q times V, the charge of a proton multiplied by the voltage at that position. So electric potential energy is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And we'll multiply that by 1.7 times 10 to the 6. Now volts, again, is joules per coulomb. Electric potential energy, again, will be a small value because it's only one proton living. That's equal to 2.7 times 10 to the minus 13 joules. And that's the end of part one, uh, dealing with the uh, potential at all locations and the potential energy.